Vladimir Drake Ristik was born in East Serbia in July of 1929 to Alexander Stanoyaska Ristik. His medical career began in 1953 when he graduated from Belgrade Medical School. He soon met and married Didiana and they left for Africa in 1962. After that, they immigrated to Canada. Dr. Ristik, tell us about your childhood in, at home. Uh, I was born in Niš, in Serbia, a uh, uh, place that was called Nisus in Roman Empire. Actually, I think Emperor Constantine was born there, but no family relations. Uh, my ancestors came in later, of course. I grew up there, attended uh, primary school, and then moved to Belgrade in uh, 1942, and I stayed there. Finished my uh, school there, uh, university, that's medical uh, school. Then I took my training in, all in Belgrade. Then I finished as a general surgeon, especially general surgeon in Belgrade. Why did you leave your home country? I was, uh, I, I was married in Belgrade. I did not want my children to grow and to be educated in a communist regime. There was no freedom, there is no democracy. And I felt that, my wife and I felt that it would be a one-sided view of, of the life. I was born well before communists came in and I could tell the difference. But if my children were grew up in, in that society, they would not have anything to compare with. So that's one of the main reasons. Where did you go from Yugoslavia? I wanted to come to Canada and I could not come in directly. I had to apply to, to immigrate. This, this was not allowed at that time. It was not possible. So I uh, left uh, Yugoslavia with my wife and I as a tourist, I went to England, London, and there I managed to apply to work uh, in uh, West Africa. Since I needed about two years for my application to be processed for, for Canadian uh, immigration, I had to stay somewhere, and I could not stay in England, and I did not want to go back to Yugoslavia. So my wife and I decided to go to West Africa where I got a job in Nigeria and I worked there as a general surgeon for four years. Explain your life in West Africa. Uh, it, was, it was very challenging. It was very interesting. Um, it was hot, it was humid. And uh, I think uh, it went very well. Uh, there was a lot of other well, two aspects of this. One is the social aspect, local uh, folklore, climate, and also professional aspect, which was also quite different from what I was uh, trained and uh, saw in uh, in Belgrade. Uh, but it was it was satisfying. It was challenging and. It was, I think it was worth and I, uh, I enjoyed this challenge and experience I got there. Where about in uh, West Africa was? We, uh, my wife and I arrived, arrived first in Benin City. That's uh, uh, part of Nigeria where I was, I got a job as a general surgeon in the, in the general hospital there. I was employed by, by the uh, Ministry of Health. My son was born there, and then I was transferred to Abe Okuta. It's another s town that's between Lagos and Ibadan. Uh, and um, later on, I went to another smaller town where my 
daughter was born. So I worked there from 1962 to 1966. Descri describe your practice in Nigeria. It was general oh. surgery. Um, like how how you differentiate between practice in Canada and Nigeria? well, it was uh, hmm. uh, there was a shortage of many things, starting from instruments and uh, uh, the. Uh, Anesthesia was the problem. I had to give some of the anesthetics myself because we didn't have any qualified anesthesia anesthetist. Uh, the problem is also trop different tropical diseases uh, that most of local people had, like malaria, and uh, so we have to take all, all this into account in dealing with the surgical problems. Some of the surgical problems were quite distinct and uh, particular for this this part of uh, Africa. When you came to Canada, what did you do first? Start practicing or? Well, before I uh, was able to get a job in Canadian uh, inst medical institutions, I had to pass the uh, examination. That's called the ECFMG. That's uh, um, test to determine whether a uh, foreign graduate has enough quali qualification and standard to practice in, uh, in Canada, which I took. Uh, this test was a worldwide done once a year, and I took this in test in Lagos, that's in, in Nigeria, before I arrived to Canada. We arrived to uh, Montreal in 1966, and I got a job as a resident in general surgery first. It was two years in, in Montreal working as a resident. Why did you choose Windsor to practice? Um, a friend of mine who I knew from, uh, med from medical school and even from uh, the high school in Belgrade, uh, Dr. George Sianovic, uh, I met in Montreal and then he moved to Windsor so I followed him here. How was the early days uh, of practice in Windsor? Patients, payments and stuff like that. Well, uh, it, I, uh, I arrived in 1970 and it was, uh, there was a universal coverage. Very, very few patients had uh, private insurance. So I had no insurance at all. That would meant uh, no payment. and. Um, uh, they, they were usually called uh, uh, staff patients without any coverage, and that was that we didn't receive any uh, remuneration from them. Did you have privileges to the hospitals? Well, I took. I had to take the uh, first uh, take the exam for the license to practice in Canada. And that's uh, required of every medical uh, yeah. practitioner. And then after that, I had uh, I set for the uh, Royal College of Surgery exam in general surgery, which I took, got also. And later on, I took another uh, certification, specialty certification in vascular surgery, which was sort of a subspecialty. So my practice was, or is still is general surgery and vascular surgery. Explain your experience at IOD hospital. Well, it was, um, it was quite different from what I had in, uh, in, in West Africa. One of the things that I still could not get over, well, for many years, is the waste and the abundance of everything where we didn't have any enough, uh, sometimes we didn't have at all antibiotics for some for period of time in, in Nigeria, especially during rainy season when the communication was difficult, transport. Uh, we, well, it was, uh, it was plenty of everything here. So this was the first shock that I had. Do you still keep Serbian cultures and heritage? Yes, I do. Uh, I try to um, 
to first of all it celebrate Slava and my children come as soon as much as they can manage as often they, they can come from Toronto and Chicago. I go to church then. I fast on certain for Slava uh, for Christmas Eve, uh, Good Friday. Uh, have you ever gone back to Yugoslavia? No. No? Not yet. Okay. What is your involvement with the Canadian community? Uh, well, besides um, social involvement with the many friends that I have, Canadian friends and others, uh, it's mostly, uh, it's mostly uh, related to my uh, medical activity, or surgical activity. That means a uh, member of different uh, uh, colleges and uh, it's a bit in the Academy of Surgery. Then of course the member of the Royal College of Surgeons, uh, OIMA, the Ontario Medical Association and so on, Canadian Medical Association. Was there any frustrations or limitations in your life in Canada? Uh, well, uh, not limitations really. I don't think uh, there is any limitation that I can think of that uh, would affect or did affect my uh, professional life here or social life. I'm happy that I'm here and I never regretted coming over here. What about your hobbies and interest? Well, I was uh, busy most of the time that I could not uh, develop any regular hobby to, to pursue that. Uh, sailing, walking, music, especially classic. How did you meet your wife and about the wedding? Um, I met my wife in Belgrade through a mutual friend. She was fluent in English and I wanted to take lessons in English because my plan was at that time to emigrate to Canada. Um, so I, we started, uh, she was giving uh, lectures in English and I took uh, other lectures there, and that's how we started to fall in love, or fell in love, and uh, we married in Belgrade in uh, 1956. What about your children? How, where are they, and what are they doing? Well, my son was born in 1963 in Nigeria. He graduated his uh, got master's degree in uh, uh, mechanical engineering in Toronto, and he's working now in Toronto. And at the moment, he's in Edmonton. He's single. My daughter uh, Yelena was born in 1965 in Nigeria. At the moment, she's. Uh, she got her bachelor's degree in Windsor, biochemistry, and now she's in a, a program for a PhD in pharmacology at the University of Illinois in Chicago. She married <coughs> last year. <coughs> Thank you very much. <coughs>